dumplings there. Well, you have a world of possibilities with these because you, we call them dough presses and I, I wish we had a sexier, hotter, cooler name for it because they are so much, they should just be called fun presses because you are pressing so many different types of cuisines, whether you want to do it into little desserts, whether you want to do empanadas, whether you want to do raviolis, little tacos, you can do um, anything that you can imagine. You can press it. We're gonna give you all three different sizes. So you're gonna get the 3.75 inch, the 4.7 inch, and you're also getting a three inch. So whether you want to do them small, like for a little, um, some little dumplings, right? Or even little bite-sized desserts, look at that. Oh, perfect. So all you do is you just put the dough in there, fill it, press it, and you are good to go. Cook it any way you want to. So again, getting all three of your sizes, right up to the larger ones. So if you wanted to do, for example, your own pierogies, this would be perfect for that. <gasps> awesome, and even little mini strombolis, $19.95. You get all three of these $19.95 for flex payments. Get them home for under $5. And um, Kelly Diedring is gonna give us some inspiration. But you know, Kelly, all you have to do is get these. Don't you think these should be called like the, the fun press set? Because <laughs> these are such fun. I love that. These really are fun. And you know what, Alice? We've all been stuck in our kitchen for the last six months, right? So um, are you bored of the things you're creating? Do you just wanna do something easy but different? This is the set to get for this value. You can't beat it. Maybe grab a set for yourself and then grab one for your friend that loves to cook. I'll show you what you do. You're getting the cutter and the press times three. You're getting three different sizes. So when you flip it over to the underneath side, this is the cutter and you can take any dough. So whether it's just a wonton wrapper, whether it's um, biscuit dough, pie dough, uh, your own homemade recipe for dough. You cut the little circle, so you saw, very, very simple. And then you take your dough, and we're just making a quick little wonton. You place it right on the crimper, and then for my wontons, we just have some ginger seasoned pork with some scallion and some soy. But what do you want to fill this with? Anything. I mean, Alice, you mentioned you could even make it sweet. You can make it savory. You can do something simple just like a little grilled cheese or a ham and cheese. Um, with this one, I like to just do a little bit of water around the edge. Sometimes with the stickier doughs, you don't need it, but I just put a little bit of water around the edge and then I crimp it together and you give it a nice little press and that's it. Now this is the small size. You're getting three different sizes. I have created the most Pinterest worthy <laughs> wonton and then we just pan fried them, but you can air fry them. You can bake them in the oven. You can pop them in a toaster oven. Um, we just put them in a pan with a little sesame oil. This is the before, that's the after. Alice, do I not look like I know what I'm doing in the kitchen with these? <laughs> These are so much fun, S super fun. Yeah. You could you could fill them with with pudding if you wanted to. Yes. Uh, uh, so many different mousse, whipped cream. You just decide anything, anything yep. that you want to put in there. But I think you have just I love having all three sizes because it really makes a difference. So that you can decide, you know, if I want to make like a little apple pie for dessert, whatever yep. you want to do. In a second, in a second, yep. you have made it. Rather than going to the store and buying something that is pre-made or and, and thick with dough and everything else, you can just buy the pre-made dough if you want, whether it's a pie pastry, sure. whether it's those wonton wrappers. If you want to do um, even some of the, um, buy some of the, the pastas that are pre-done, yeah. like a sheet of the pasta, put those in there. Do a little, little pumpkin, ravioli. little pumpkin ravioli, a yes. little, oh my gosh. You know, you can do a little, cheese and, and um, <laughs> pine nut. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Absolutely really? endless. You cannot believe for under $20 how much fun this is gonna be. Fun for you, fun your, for your family, for your grandkids, for the people who yeah. eat them because it is all about having something that really celebrates every cuisine, every cuisine, and just you get to be creative with. Yeah, every culture has their own version of stuffed dough. 
whether it's, you know, the Asian culture and the wontons, whether it's Central and South America and Mexico with the empanadas, whether it's, you know, Italy with the stuffed little pizza pockets or the strombolis or the calzones. Um, we're going to make a pierogi. So all we do, and I'll tell you, we do a lot of little cheats that'll make your life easier. Now, of course, you can do your own homemade dough for pierogies. Um, this is the little biscuits, you know, the little pop cans. Uh -huh. Okay. Right. You buy yourself a pop can and then you just squish it out, right? So all we did was we took our little pop can biscuit, squished it out. With this one, it's a stickier dough. I like to add a little bit of flour to the end there. You see, I put a little flour on there. And then your mashed potato recipe. Do you put a little seasoned pork in your mashed potatoes? We've got some scallions. I always do a little goat cheese in my mashed potato. What do you want to put inside yours? This is a stickier dough, so I don't always need the water around the edge there. And you'll get the feel for this after a couple of tries. Okay, this is my perfect little, like I said, Pinterest-worthy pierogi. And then with our pierogies, we did pan fry these. You can air fry them. We caramelized some onion. So there's your before, there's your after. Alice, I don't know about you, but there is a food truck here locally that just does pierogies. That's how popular they are. And now you can make them on your own mm -hmm. any time of day. And whether you have, like, maybe you're just doing a few friends and family and somebody's gluten-free or they're dairy-free or they're sugar-free, you can now specifically do their kind of dough so that you can accommodate allergies. Whereas if you were to go to the freezer aisle and buy these pre-done, not only would they be filled with chemicals, but you know, they wouldn't be the specific allergies um, that you're able to accommodate when doing it yourself. This one here is that pizza dough. And you can buy the pizza dough already in like a little roll. Pizza dough and pie dough, it comes like rolled up like this. I just want to show you how you can buy it. Most people have probably done that. Then you just take it, place it right there. I'm going to do a little pepperoni. You could do your favorite red sauce. Um, you could do like any of your favorite. You could do mushrooms, onions. What do you, you know? What do you want inside your little pizza pocket? Now I know they sell pizza pockets in the grocery aisle, but think about what's in those. You know, the chemicals, the sodium. This is just my own ingredient pizza pocket. And then let's go down front and show you. These were baked, just regular oven baked. Look how beautiful. Gorgeous. Before and after. Uh, is uh, that not so much fun? So much fun, so easy, so simple. And yep. four flex payments gets its home for under $5. I mean, these are the kind of gifts you want to celebrate with, with your grandkids, with your kids, even just for you and your husband. You'll be able to, to make all the foods you love. I have made the ravioli where you do the whole sheet of pasta yep. and then you have to get just the right amount of filling and then you cut it with that little roller thing. Yeah. Do not ever do that again. Right <laughs> Don't here. Do it. Okay, <laughs> you put the pasta in, you, you know exactly how much of, of the filling you want. You press it, you are done and it comes out perfectly rather than Every oh, time. this ravioli opened and got in all the water. Oh, it's been <laughs> such a mess. These are simple, but they work so effectively, Kelly. Give us some more ideas, but again, yes. the opportunities are endless. They're fun too, Alice. I mean, this is just some cherry pie filling from the grocery store, but what's your favorite pie for the holiday? Is it pumpkin? Mine's pecan. I could do my pecan filling. And then I just did the mm. rolled up pie crust and then I squeeze it. Oh, that part I would lick because that's my favorite part. <laughs> you can just you can wipe that down. And then now I have this perfect little pie. And then we've just baked them off and then iced them. And can you imagine now I can give Uncle, you know, uh, Uncle Harry, I can give him cherry. And my brother, who's gluten-free, can have his own specialty dough. Um, and then one thing I do like to do for the kiddos uh, is the little miniature peanut butter and jelly. So oh, you can even just take those. a piece of white bread. Yeah, just white or wheat bread and add in Nutella and marshmallow fluff or oh. peanut butter and jelly and then freeze them for the remainder of the week. I it's mean, like those you things you buy without own. the crust on them, but what do you pay for yes. those things? Just do it yourself. Oh, they're expensive. Uh, they're expensive. They're crazy expensive. And I don't, yes. they're, sometimes they're almost like a little too hard. This is gonna be fresh. Oh my God, love these. You get all three, $19.95, yes. three different sizes that will work for you perfectly. You will have such fun with these and give these as gift people will just, they will play with them. They'll love it. it. They, yeah, yeah, it should be like the play press set or the fun <laughs> press set because it really is just fun. Thank you so much, we'll Kelly. Them. <laughs> well, Thanks, you, Alice. you have plenty of goodies to share with your family tonight, don't you? I do. Everybody's <laughs> going to be eating one.